Hey there, wicked writers and noisy novelists. In this tutorial I'm going to guide you through text rendering in Resolume Arena and Avenue. For this tutorial I'll be using Resolume Arena, but everything shown can be done in Avenue too. So ditch your writer's block and let's get started. We are starting out in Resolume Arena with a text block source. This is by far the easiest and fastest way to get text into your shows. Let's create a new one by using the quick menu. Double click on the handle of an empty clip and search for the text block. You'll quickly note that there are two versions here, an effect and a source. For now we'll use the source and get back to the effect later in this video. The text block has all the parameters you would expect from a text editor. You can change the font, style, color, size and alignment. I'm pretty sure you all did your homework at some point so you know what these do. The line width parameter sets how many pixels wide the text can be before it breaks up the line. Note that words themselves will never be broken up. So take this into consideration when you are using long words and manipulating text size at the same time. Moving along the parameters we'll find some basic transformation options like position, scale and rotation. These parameters make excellent candidates for timeline animation, like these examples. Now you might wonder what the difference is between scale and size. Size increases the size of the actual characters, where scale is an overall transformation. What it comes down to in a practical sense is that the size parameter will affect the line width parameter and the scale parameter will not. The final bit of the text block involves glow and outlines. The outline width parameter allows you to create a crisp outline. The two glow parameters are more subtle and create a softer effect. Also it's worth noting that you can create pure outlines by setting the alpha of the main text color to zero, while using an outline. With this knowledge in hand, we can use parameter animation to introduce motion into our text blocks. Maybe some bouncing text or some flickering edges. You should also note that the text field itself is technically a parameter. And because of this it can be animated, like in this example. This is a super powerful parameter and definitely worth exploring after you finish this video. But what if we want per character animation? This is where the text animator comes in. The text animator is another text source and effect in Resolume Arena and Avenue. At first glance the interface is identical to the text block source, with the exception of the absence of the line width parameter. But where we lose the line width, we gain the animation toggle. Enabling this will enable animation for this particular instance of the text animator. Looking at the animation section we find a couple of new parameters. Range sets whether you want to animate per line, word or character. The order sets in which order the animation should occur. And to round it off we have the delay setting, which sets the delay time between animations from 0 to 2000 milliseconds. That is a lot of info, so let's do a little example. I'll set the range to characters. The order from front to back and delay to 250 milliseconds. Now when I move any of the parameters below, that parameter will animate per character. This works for opacity, position, rotation and many more. This is a tool that requires some playing around with before you get the visuals that you want. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. Here we are randomly rotating the characters. By adding a little bit of the goo effect we can create sort of an underwater look. Here I am animating both the opacity and the scale in play once mode. This gives the illusion of the text dropping into the background. This makes for a very smashable visual. And we cannot forget the power of breaking up a sentence into separate words to hype up the crowd. So far we have looked at text sources, but what about those text block and text animator effects? Well the effect variants are identical to the sources, with the biggest upside that they can be applied to clips. 
when you want to overlay a specific clip with text, these effects are the way to go. And with the text effects out of the way, we wrap up this tutorial. Drop any questions you have in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.